CQ Contest, CQ Contest, Whiskey Zero, Zulu, Foxtrot, Rover Contest. In radio contesting, a rover is a station that moves from place to place during the contest. In VHF contests, rovers move from one grid square to another, making as many contacts as possible from each grid. Grid squares are one degree of latitude by two degrees of longitude. In most of the U.S., that's about 70 miles by 100 miles. Each square is assigned a four-character identifier, such as EN34. Operators exchange grid squares for each somewhere. contact. We're going to be we're going to work these grids um, today, and we're going to um, echo Nancy 14 and echo Nancy 15 tomorrow. So. Uh, we look forward to working the voice of Ellendale uh, sometime in the next 20 hours or so. Over, over. <laughs> My friend Matt, K0BBC, and I often pool our resources for contests. In this contest, we were active on three bands from six different grids. One radio was dedicated to 6 meters, the other on 2 meters and 440, all using one station call sign. Most of the time, we were stationary and under generator power, but some contacts were made on the move as well. We're up here in Echo Nancy 2.5. We just lashed the 6 meter antenna onto the 2, two meter 440 beam. SWR is saying 1.1 to 1. So we're actually going to try to rove with this, probably not too fast, but we're going to at least try it so we can keep on the air and keep on moving, and let's hope make a few contacts. VHF contests are a great way to get started in contesting. Since all the action is above 50 megahertz, all classes of U.S. amateur license can participate. Although FM is allowed, most of the action is on single sideband, or CW. That means you'll need a radio capable of multiple modes on those bands. Many compact HF radios, such as Matt's Yesu FT-857, include multi-mode VHF and UHF capabilities. Most signals in the contest will be horizontally polarized, so beams or horizontal loops are the preferred antennas. A GPS receiver can tell you exactly which grid you're in, and a map is very useful for plotting out a route to hit as many grids as possible. Don't forget to scout out locations ahead of time to find favorable places to operate. VHF and above contests are held several times each year, so get your gear together and give roving a try. We look forward to working you on our next rover adventure. 73 from Whiskey Zero Zulu Foxtrot. See you on the air.